What's up guys? So I made a Kaizo for beginner level on Mario Maker 2 to practice my Kaizoing a while ago and it was a good level but I wanted an even better one with better guides. So that's exactly what I made for you guys today is yet another Kaizo for beginner. Kaizo for Beginners 2 with Guides. So we have two sections. We have Normal Gravity written right up here. And if you go through this section, you will see that you, we have Low Gravity section as well. So when we go through these sections, you can use these guides to perfect your ability to do these jumps. If we have Mario jump within the lines, release at the arrow will be able to do this almost every single time once you learn low gravity it becomes way easier to learn the other versions but you have all the low gravity sections here as practice so that you can take your time if you have no idea how to play these at all you can come back through and play the low grav sections this low grav P switch section is made for free free form P switch jumps if you wanted to get practice with them. But of course, you don't actually need to go you don't need to succeed in any of them. You can skip through all of them. And then we follow it up with a Yoshi jump. And finally, we finish off the low grav section with a spring jump. Again, following the arrows, the conditions exactly, and you can do it. I succeeded there, I just didn't actually jump. There we go. And there's the end. But we can always go through the normal gravity, which if you want to do practice, that's probably where you'll be going more often. You'll be coming through here to normal grav. Same situation, except everything is far, far tighter. All the marker, all the guides are still, will still work pretty well. You want to follow the guides the same way. Mario following the lines and the items following the arrows. Next up we have the normal gravity babam jumps. Again, following your guides can allow you to do it pretty consistently. And then we have our P jumps. Hard corner here. Uh, oh, but I screwed it up. It's okay. I can always try it again. Oh, still screwed that up. That's okay. Followed by the Yoshi jump. Same pattern as before. Oh no, I missed that. But it's okay, I still need practice doing that Yoshi jump. And then finally, the spring jump is likely one of the most difficult Kaizo tricks to master. And you can do a successful spring jump. And that's it! And that's all. Course clear. You can go through it as many times. Take your time as long as you want. And there's no, there's no competition. As you can see, the world record is one second. Because you can just go straight to the end. So have fun. Try your best. And don't give up. Until next time, stay amazing, and to the frickin' Lou.